What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today it's back at it with the drift truck. So you can see some things are different here. I like this costume because it just has the screws. Unfortunately the back screw I kind of broke it. But I will fix it. This is my roll cage, very tight and Fortunately, I mistook the measurements. If I can get that out, and you can see that. As you can see, my roll cage I made out of scratch. What's been added so far since the last video? I added this as a UI system. The engine was sitting flush, so I had to put this up. The pipes will be coming out the side. I actually melted this. Since it's plastic, I melted it. Hardly used glue. As you can see underneath, I have an electric fan and another radiator. That will not be seen from outside. As I said, my other video, twin turbo, 2JZ engine I redid the second turbo is a, a bit bigger but a millimeter bigger added my three exhaust pipes it will not be I will connect it to the actual pipes so it's longer added this what I've done to the truck only is added this spoiler that's the only thing I have done so far is added the spoiler the truck, I was thinking of keeping it yellow, but tell me in the comments what color you guys think I should do. This sits quite very flush, but first, I actually have to put it in the glass. Be careful not to damage the glass. Then I want to put, then I put this here. As you can see, the truck is coming along very, very well. 2JZ engine, as I said, just like my Nissan GTR twin turbo. And I want to ask you guys something. This is actually the knife I use. It's very sharp. I got cut once and it wasn't good. It was very bad. I built this engine a very very long time ago I based it off the 8000 horsepower uh, Hemi V8 drag engine so tell me in the comments down below what car should I put it in truck or van should I put it in it's pretty heavy it's when I stick a magnet to the engine it's actually magnetic so this I got it from an old DVD I was taking apart and I found these pieces and it just came to mind. This engine, V8, Hemi, based off that. Tell me what should I put it in next. Some I'm going to do next is a drag. So a car maybe, it's going to be a bit big for the car. Maybe a truck or a pickup truck that would be nice. But let me know down below what you think I should put this engine in back to this I would like to remove the black off here as I screwed up messed it up but as you can see the roll cage fits pretty pretty nice the engine is a bit loose as I made space covered inside it's all not stuck on I broke this screw piece. This, thank goodness, the screw piece did not break because it's for the cab. I will be having a break now, and I will be back in a, a couple of days and get my mind to see what else to do on camera. I'm going to do this time, nothing off camera. So, please tell me down in the comments below what do you think of my engine? 
And what do you think of the choice of semi truck I chose? It's based off this. I googled it. It's actually based off a Scania Chimera. It's an amazing 2,000 horsepower truck in real life, and you got four turbos. Unfortunately, I it was a bit too late. But in real life, if this truck actually had a 2JZ twin turbo, the engine would be flipped the other side. And it would be making around its uh, 1,500 to 1,800 horsepower in real life. So please let me know what do you think of this build. I really took a swing, this is my third time making a cage, roll cage. I took a swing and just came up with this idea as my first and second attempt. It was quite frustrating. That's it for today. I will be back very soon for more interesting things to do with this truck. So let me, down, uh, let me know down in the comments what do you think of this truck what can I do what color can I paint the cab uh, tire wise I might change it tell me what tires to get uh, what makes to get tell me what do you think of my engine should I add uh, another engine uh, another turbo or two more turbos this is my insane build shall I say so thank you so much and enjoy